just got your kayak, and now it's time to get in the water. Here is how you set it up. Hi, my name's Eric, engineer at Tuck Tech. Welcome to our instruction video. I'm here to guide you through some of the more detailed points of assembly. We machine grooves in the plastic to create the fold lines. It's very important you follow those fold lines until you've broken in your kayak. Before opening your boat, remove the shoulder strap by unbuckling each end. And once it's undone, you just rip it open here, unravel it and unveil this beauty. We just unrolled it. Now, oh, come here, come here. Look at this, look at this. Okay, so this piece was designed so that you just flip this over and it helps you put it together. How cool is that? Tuck Tech wants it to be easy and they made it easy. Make sure the V folds on the end go in. They should not go out. It may feel natural to start the end fold from at the end of the kayak like this, but that won't work. Start the end folds from the side like this. That'll give you the proper leverage and position for the assist strap. Easy. So once that's done, all you gotta do is move to the side, the side that has this metal piece. You reach over to the other side without the metal piece, but you've got this loop. You put your finger in the loop, you pull this over. Now you, this should not be hard. This should be nice and easy. You slip it in there, put that down, and you're set. Now just slap this cotter pin in there because to assemble the front and back ends, insert lever into slot, then simply push forward on the lever. Bring it down over the lever catch, then twist the lever catch to line up with the hole in the lever. Insert cotter pin. And you're good to go. Now we're gonna repeat that on the other side. Come on, I'll race you. Okay, you can be faster than that. Let's go. Now, as we're putting this together, you wanna keep track of the fin because you don't want the fin up here and then to push this in and you don't want this cord to get Make sure the fin cord is not wrapped around the fin. The fin cord should lift the fin freely. What's next? We find the side with the metal piece and it happens to be right here. So we just move over to the side. We're gonna reach over and look for that little loop. My finger goes into that loop. It pulls it over. We go into this hole, we slip it right in and again, it should not be forced. This should be an easy thing that you can do with one finger. And then your cotter pin right into the center one. And we're moving, we're moving and grooving. Okay. Once you get over to the side, a lot of people want to lift this up and pry this over. You don't have to do any of that. I'm, I'm sure you're strong. Keep the weight lifting for the gym. For this, we only need one finger. All you want to do is make sure this is straight, make sure the kayak is flat, and it moves right over. It just slips right over one finger in your side. On the side levers, it's very important to follow the fold lines. Flip the lever under the lever catch. You may need to push slightly down on the lever, twist the catch to line up with the hole in the lever, insert cotter pin. Same thing over here. I move it over, make sure this is lined up. I just move it over and flip that up. I'm gonna do the same thing on that side and I can even jump over the tuck tech for a little bit more fun. Slip it over. Guys, we are so close to getting in that water. Now we've gotta get the rails, the sponsons on. <laughs> Hold open the foam rails. Place them over the side and push down until fully rested. Pull the bungee strap up over the foam and hook onto the lever to secure the foam side rails in place. As you're putting this together, make sure you're looking for any bulges or creases, things that shouldn't be that way. When this is put together correctly, it's nice and round. Got my rail. Cinches it up. Over here. All right, now we're all cinched up. 
we're gonna go ahead and get the seat in, my favorite part, because I like to sit. Couple of options for you. There's these J hooks, and you can set them. There's a front and a back J hook. Depending on if you want to be further up or further back is where you're going to want to set. Them. This is what your seat will look like. This seat is actually modeled after the space saving and lightweight stowable seats on the International Space Station. To assemble the seat, you'll need the seat back shoulder strap, and Velcro cinch strap. First, adjust your shoulder strap to the shortest setting. Then, feed the strap through the holes in the seat back. There are J hooks on the bottom of the seat that clip to the rods in the bottom of your kayak. Use the front clips to latch under the middle rod. Now you want to secure your seat by running the cinch strap fuzzy side down through the buckles and secure it in place. Adjust the two front buckle straps as short as they will go. Then clip the buckles on each side and adjust as needed. Taller people can move the seat back by hooking the back hooks into the back rod. We recently added a gear bar. This will widen the back end for gear and also acts to flatten the bottom of the boat, giving extra stability for beginners. To attach the gear bar, locate the two plugs at the two folds behind the seat. From inside the kayak, Slide the bar over one plug. While pulling out on the other side of the kayak, attach the bar to the second plug. Okay, I'm really excited. One more step. We're just gonna adjust the footrest and then get it in the water. So you hop on in your Tuck Tech kayak and we just pull this to the desired length and then we're just gonna cinch it up. And now we're ready to get kayaking. Now your tuck tech is assembled and ready for the water. Don't forget your life jacket. The tuck tech is stable, it performs great, and unlike an inflatable, it takes a beating. Now that we're done kayaking, it's time to put it away. And this is how you do it. So we're going to start with the seat here. You just pull these out and unravel it through the seat. Keep the straps because you're going to need them at the very end to cinch this kayak back together. The foot rest, you're going to want to loosen this to release it. Then we're going to undo the side rails and these cords come off and we're going to just put those to the side for right now. Same thing over here. Pull that down, pop it off. Now, these are really easy. You're just gonna put your thumb, apply a little bit of pressure to release the pressure on this and move it so that pops off. Same over here. Pop that off, all right. Release that pressure and that just pops right off for you. Same over here, push that down. Now the cotter pins come out. Same thing, you push that down to release the pressure and it pops off. Make sure that piece in the back that we used comes off as well so it flattens completely down. Cotter pin, push it down, pop this off, and the back piece as well. Before folding up your boat, extend the seat clips all the way and let them hang over the side of the boat. It is essential so you put these together and put them up here underneath in this second bay here. And we're gonna push this up. You have to make sure that as you're folding this that you keep it tight. That's gonna make a big impact at the end if you've kept this nice and tight. This sometimes wants to pop up. When I twist this, I'm gonna push it down. Now we just keep rolling. 
keep on rolling again nice and tight these are going to want to try to pop up we're not going to let them are we no we're not push down push down all right here we go for the seat seat goes right in here label up top and we're just gonna push this together and make sure you pull on that so it's gonna want to push up there don't let it then we just flip this over now we've got our straps this is the strap we're gonna start with and we want the fuzzy side the soft side down and this hook away from you what I like to do is I like to put it out there a little ways and then I'm just gonna move the kayak on top of it really quick pro tip you want to keep your rudder in so move that in and then cinch it up now we're just gonna take extend the shoulder strap to where the shoulder pad is about in the middle then buckle each end we're ready to load back up into the vehicle the RV store it anywhere your closet your apartment your since our kayak doesn't require storage or a roof rack and makes kayaking accessible to all, we get a lot of first time kayakers. The Tuk Tech is a very stable kayak, but all kayaks seem a little tipsy when you first use them. It's like riding a bike. Be patient. Once you get it, it clicks. 